Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. We're in the book of Psalms. We come today to Psalm 18, verse 46. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God who avengeth me and subdues the people under me. He delivered me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those who rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the nations, and sing praises unto thy name. And so David gave God credit for his success actually for anything positive that he had. And David gave thanks to God and gave him credit right in front of the people, including those who did not know the Lord. Christians are supposed to be witnesses to the reality of God in this world, in this world that is filled with people who rarely, if ever, think about God. So you're going to stand out when you talk about God as if he's alive and well, and you give him praise and glory and credit for all the good things that you have, which is what he deserves. People will notice that. Whether they act on it or not, that's totally up to them. But at least you're being a witness for Almighty God. And don't just say God, by the way. Make sure you say Jesus. <clears throat> because anybody can say God. That's, that's like a generic term. The Bible says there are gods many. There's only one true God, but people, people have created all sorts of gods in their own image and in their own likenesses, and there are plenty, false, plenty of false religions. So make sure you're very specific, and you talk about Jesus also. 50. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, which would be David, and the Messiah, by the way, David's offspring. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. The one that God chooses to be king is protected by God. And again, that's talking about David, who God saved out of many tight spots because God said, you're going to reign. And he did. But it's also talking about Jesus. The ultimate fulfillment of this is the Lord Jesus Christ, the son of David, the Messiah, the king of the universe the God and creator and sustainer of all things. That's Jesus. How did God protect him? Well, you see, he, he allowed him to be crucified. <clears throat> yeah, to pay for our sins. But how did God protect Jesus? How did he sustain him? God raised him from the dead after three days, never to die again. And Jesus is going to return. And he will be king of the world reigning from Jerusalem over the entire earth forever and ever because God delivers his king. Let's go quickly into Psalm 19, one of my favorites of all time. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. You know, you can tell a lot about a person by what they like to do and what they make. It's true. Watch how someone dawdles, not dawdles, what's that, what's that word? Um, scribbles? I can't think of the word. I'll think of it by the time we start our next broadcast. But watch what people make. You can learn a lot about a person by that. And God is a skilled craftsman. When you look at the sky, the day and the night sky, you see a, just a small sample of his work. And we'll pick it up next time right here. You want to be a part of this ministry and study the whole Bible with me? You can do that at thebibleversebyverse.com. Click on the Bible book. Click on the chapter. Click on the section. Listen. There are four series to choose from at thebibleversebyverse.com, all the way through the Bible from Genesis through Revelation. And if you want to be a part of this ministry, pray for me, pray for God's word. Click the donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.